Only on two tonight, a woman is suing the Houston Rodeo after she was raped by at least one member of a local trail ride. This man, Alvin Prine, attacked her back in 2012 along with another man while they were traveling through Dayton in Liberty County. Prine is currently serving a 20 year sentence for the rape. The other man pled guilty to a lesser charge, but the victim is saying that's not enough. She is now on a mission to make sure that this never happens to anybody else again. Jennifer Bauer live now near NRG Park where the rodeo is in the the spotlight for an entirely different reason. Jen? Dominique, this sexual assault happened in the month of December back in 2012. It was two months prior to the Houston Rodeo, which, as we all know, takes place in the month of March. But this victim and her attorney say that it was still a rodeo sponsored event, and that's why they've decided to file a lawsuit. We also want to mention that we don't typically identify the victims of sexual assault but this victim says she wants to be identified. It put me in the deepest, darkest place I've ever been. Brianna Williams has finally found the courage to speak out. Four years ago, she was raped while at a party with the Los Vaqueros trail riders. It happened inside the cab of a pickup truck in this field near a bar along Texas 321 in Dayton. And I remember waking up to somebody on top of me. Two men were arrested and charged. Alvin Prine and David Ramirez were both locked up. Ramirez pled to a lesser charge and is now out of jail. But Prine is serving a 20 year sentence for sexual assault. I don't want it to happen to anybody else. Now Brianna and her attorney are filing a lawsuit against the Los Vaqueros trail riders and the Houston Livestock Show and Rodeo because they say the assault happened at a sponsored event. What I would like for to happen is for them to take responsibility, step up and take responsibility. Then I would like for them to make changes to their event so that people are safe and nothing like this ever happens again. In a statement, a spokesperson for the rodeo said this event occurred in December 2012, two months prior to the Houston Livestock Show and Rodeo trail riding campman held in Memorial Park, making the event unaffiliated with the show. Due to pending litigation, the show is unable to comment further. Nobody should ever have to deal with this. Nobody. Now we all. Now we also reached out to the Los Vaqueros trail riders. They said that they had no comment and they were not aware of any lawsuit, but they did acknowledge the crime that occurred back in 2012 involving two of their members. We are live tonight near NRG. I'm Jennifer Bauer, KPRC Channel 2 News. Jennifer, thank you.